There are a lot of mysterious things underwater. Things that we know very little about, and things that were lost in time. Discoveries in the field of marine biology and archaeology continue to show up each year. And the more we uncover, the more unanswered questions we have. Let's take a look at some of the most mind-boggling underwater finds that even experts can't explain. From intriguing hedonistic Roman symbols to a mysterious crater, here are 15 underwater discoveries that cannot be explained. Number 15. Hedonistic Roman Symbols Divers were baffled when they discovered a sunken city of the Caesars that was lost for more than 17 centuries. This hedonistic city is located underwater on Italy's west coast. In the year 1 AD, this sunken city was a place for the wealthy and the high-class portion of society to unwind and indulge themselves in all the pleasures of life. This hedonistic city of Baia was like the ancient version of Las Vegas in first century Rome. At first, scientists didn't know how to interpret the symbols they found in the ruins. But it didn't take them long to interpret that the symbols translate to things of pleasure and luxury. Unfortunately, the resort wasn't built to last. It wasn't long until it was pillaged by a Muslim army in the 8th century. And by 1500, the whole place was abandoned. Many looted everything valuable in the place. And soon after, volcanic vents caused the water level to drown the abandoned town. What was once a place for the elite is now reduced to ruins beneath the waves. Today, the remains of Baia can be visited by divers where you could see remnants of its indulgent past. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Rupkund Lake Mystery In 2021, the decreasing water of Rupkund Lake brought horror to the people. This lake is located near the steep slope of Trishul, one of India's highest mountains, located in the state of Uttarakhand. Given that the lake is located high in the Indian Himalayas, about 16,500 feet above sea level, not a lot of people venture near it. However, one forest ranger stumbled upon the lake one day and made a horrifying discovery. In the lake, he discovered several skeletons. The human remains are only visible when the snow in the lake starts to melt. What's more astounding is the number of remains found in the lake. Experts estimate that there have been 600 to 800 skeletal remains in the mystery lake. Ever since it was discovered in 1942, no one could explain who these people were, how or when they died, or where they came from. Although we don't know the truth, there are some theories as to what led to this macabre scene. One theory proposes that these skeletons are the remains of an Indian king, his wife, as well as their royal attendants. The group might have perished in a blizzard some 870 years ago, and their bodies remained there for centuries. Another theory suggests that these are the remains of Indian soldiers who tried to invade Tibet in 1841, but they unfortunately got beaten back. Some people also claim that the lake became some sort of a cemetery for the victims of an epidemic that hit a settlement a long time ago. For now, all we know is that most of the skeletons were of average stature, with many of them being middle-aged adults when they died. There were no skeletal remains of babies or children. All of them died about 1,200 years ago, but to this day, we can't say for sure who they are, how they ended up in the mountain, or why they perished in the first place. Number 13. Spain's Underwater Stonehenge This year, Europe experienced one of its worst droughts in 500 years. This caused many of the bodies of water in the continent to diminish, and it revealed a lot of secrets hidden by time. As the temperature rose, the decreasing water level of the Val de Cañas Reservoir in the central province of Caceres, Spain, uncovered megalithic stones. Arranged in a circle, the stones are believed to date back to 500 BC and are dubbed the Underwater Stonehenge by the locals and researchers. Officially, it's known as the Dolmen of Guadalperal, and archaeologists scrambled to examine the megaliths further while the water level in the dam is still at 28% of its capacity. Despite the locals' surprise, this isn't actually the first time the megaliths have shown themselves. This Spanish Stonehenge was discovered by German archaeologist Hugo Obermeyer in 1926, but because of a development project under Francisco Franco's dictatorship, the prehistoric ruins were flooded in 1963, and before archaeologists could even get the chance to study it, it was hidden underwater. It's only been fully visible four times after that. Just like the Stonehenge found in Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, England, there is a huge possibility that the Dolmen of Guadalperal was used as a prehistoric observatory for people to study celestial bodies. There's also a chance that these megaliths served as a place of worship. To study it further, people have started a petition to save the monument. Number 12. Mysterious Julia Sound There are a lot of uncharted territories underwater. 
Here, humans hold little knowledge of what lives and exists. That's why we're incredibly cautious when it comes to any suspicious activity in the ocean. For instance, Julia was a sound recorded on March 1, 1999 by the United States National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. The loud sound was similar to someone cooing or whining. Luckily, the Eastern Equatorial Pacific Autonomous Array picked up the strange sound. For a while, researchers weren't sure what caused the sound. Theories suggest that the sound was created by a huge monster lurking in our ocean, including the colossal squid that many suspect is living in the deepest and darkest part of the sea without our knowledge. Researchers believe that Julia is nothing more than the sound of an iceberg running into the seafloor in the Antarctic, but we'll never know for sure. Number 11. The Bimini Road in 1968, a diver found a series of stones approximately 18 feet underwater off the coast of North Bimini Island in the Bahamas. These stones were not ordinary corals or rocks, and instead, the entire path looks man-made. This was when the Bimini Road was discovered, and ever since then, many believe that it's the road to the elusive city of Atlantis. Around 360 BC, Plato wrote about the city of Atlantis. The legend goes that it was a highly advanced and utopian civilization, but because of greed and unjust morals, the gods punished the thriving city. After a night of fire and earthquakes, in Plato's words, Atlantis sank into the sea. Even though some dismiss it as a work of fiction, many believe that the city of Atlantis really does exist somewhere in the ocean. For centuries, many people have been trying to locate the ruins of this place in hopes of looting any treasure it left behind. There have been many theories as to where this utopian city is located, but so far, no one has been lucky enough to find it. A lot of people got pretty excited when Bimini Road was discovered. Many thought that it could be the final key to locating Atlantis, but unfortunately, carbon dating and analysis of the block suggest that despite the precise formation of the stones, it was naturally formed by erosion. With the conclusion of the Bimini Road mystery, the legend of Atlantis remains unsolved to this day. Number 10. Dinosaur Tracks Aside from Europe, some parts of the United States have also been affected by scorching hot temperatures, including Texas. Due to the drought conditions and dropping water levels, an interesting prehistoric artifact revealed itself to the rest of the world. In Texas, 113 million-year-old dinosaur tracks were revealed by the receding waters of the Palexi River and Dinosaur Valley State Park. The tracks belong to a carnivorous dino named Archocanthosaurus, a creature that lived between 115 to 105 million years ago in the early Cretaceous period. These dinos walked on two legs and had three toes. They were formidable hunters that stood at a staggering 15 feet and weighed up to 7 tons. If you think that these dinos are big, wait until you hear about the tracks left by the Sauroposeidon, a dinosaur that stood at a whopping height of 60 feet. For reference, that height is equivalent to three giraffes stacked together. Imagine if these behemoths were still alive today. We'd probably have to worry about being stepped on all day, every day. Officials of the park estimate that there are more tracks hidden around the vicinity. Most of them are preserved in limestone, and despite their good condition, it's expected that they would be destroyed by weathering and erosion over time. Number 9. Train Graveyard In 1985, a charter boat was mapping the ocean five miles off Long Branch, New Jersey, when the boat's magnetometer discovered a strange object about 90 feet below the surface. When the captain of the ship dived in to investigate, he stumbled upon a shocking discovery. In the murky waters, he found two small locomotive engines standing upright, right beside each other. This is where the mystery of the train graveyard began. Where did these locomotives come from, and how did they get submerged in the first place? Subsequent dives gathered more information about the wreck. After several diving attempts, the divers discovered artifacts from the train. Several whistles that had an inscription that read H. N. Hooper, Boston, Number 3. This inscription became the first lead in investigating the submerged locomotives. H. N. Hooper Company of Boston was founded by Mr. Henry N. Hooper in the early 1830s. Based on this information, many believe that the locomotives were manufactured by the Seth Wilmarth Union Works stationed in South Boston. The locomotives, which are rare Planet Class 222 models, were produced in a short period of time. They were considered outdated as soon as the first one got built, and so the manufacturers found no need to produce more of them. It was suspected that these locomotives were being carried on a barge that came from Boston to the Mid-Atlantic. Perhaps a storm shook the ship five miles off the coast of Long Branch, New Jersey, and it sent the locomotives tumbling underwater. 
There's also the possibility that the workers deliberately dropped the trains underwater to lighten the load of the barge and avoid capsizing. Interestingly enough, when the log of the ship was discovered, the records didn't indicate anything about the two locomotives on board. To this day, we still don't know where the trains came from and how they ended up 90 feet underwater. Number 8. The Yonaguni Complex Off the coast of Yonaguni, the southernmost of the Ryukyu Islands in Japan, is the Yonaguni Monument. This strange site has been the subject of debate ever since it was discovered in 1986 by a diver observing hammerhead shark populations in the area. The whole complex is made up of fine sandstone and mudstones that some people believe to date back about 20 million years ago. After seeing the parallel layers and the precise shapes in the whole complex, many were convinced that the Yonaguni complex is a submerged settlement left behind by unknown ancient people that lived thousands of years ago. One popular theory suggests that the complex is the mythical lost continent of Mu, an alternative name for the lost city of Atlantis. However, some researchers are also skeptical, claiming that the place is a pseudo-archaeological site and nothing more. They claim that while sandstone formations that resemble monuments and precise structures are rare in the environment, they do form naturally over time. People who support the theory that the Yonaguni Monument is artificial argue that concentration of many peculiar formations in such a concentrated location is highly unnatural. To this day, the mystery of the Yonaguni complex continues, with some claiming that it's completely man-made, and some argue that it's no ancient complex, but just the product of years of weathering and erosion. What do you think? Number 7. Skulls and Sinkhole In 2014, the locals in southern Mexico were horrified to hear a macabre discovery in a flooded sinkhole in Mexico's Yucatan. In some chambers of the underwater caverns, researchers found dozens of human bones. The macabre discovery not only attracted the attention of the public, but the archaeologists as well. Aside from the strange human skeletons they found in the area, the place was littered with elongated human skulls. The discovery puzzled many researchers, but after examining the underwater cavern known as Sakuayam, they came to the conclusion that the human remains found in the cavern were used as sacrificial offerings by the ancient Maya. Just like how the cavern is feared by the people today because of the horrifying discovery, the ancient Maya also cowered near the caverns, but for a different reason. Local legend says that the cavern was guarded by a feathered, horse-headed serpent. Many of the people back then didn't want anything to do with the place, and none of them dared to dive into the water. Number 6. Immortal Jellyfish Centuries ago, some people thought about what the world would look like in the 2000s. Some people envisioned flying vehicles, floating cars, and many more amazing inventions. Some of the predictions they had came true, but we continue to advance in several fields each day. Even though we're living in the future many have dreamed about, even we seek greater things. For instance, the discovery of an immortal jellyfish led many to hope that someday we would be able to cure brain disease and even defy old age. This immortal jellyfish is called Turritopsis dormi. It's a species of jellyfish the size of your pinky nail. It's mostly transparent, making it hard to spot in the water. It can be found off the coast of Japan, Panama, Italy, Spain, and Florida. After observing this creature, researchers found out that it can potentially live forever. It's one of the only organisms that can undergo the process called transdifferentiation. In this process, the jellyfish can transform its dying cells into new healthy cells. How is this helpful? A person suffering from a neurodegenerative disease like Parkinson's experiences symptoms caused by damaged nerves and deteriorating parts of the brain. But if we have the same capability as the immortal jellyfish, there's a chance that we would be able to cure other diseases like this, especially age-related ones. Furthermore, in the process of transdifferentiation, the jellyfish undergo a change comparable to that of a 40-year-old human reverting back to being a 5-year-old. That's why these creatures can handle starvation, physical damage, and extreme change in temperature. Number 5. Mysterious Alien Holes One of the most staggering discoveries that baffled researchers this year are the neatly aligned holes in the ocean. These holes look as if someone punched a sewing machine into the seabed. No one knows exactly how the holes appeared there in the first place. And to this day, there are no solid leads that can tell what these holes are or how they formed. Some researchers believe that perhaps a fish is responsible for punching these holes, but some argue that the holes are signs of extraterrestrial existence or the presence of an underwater beast like the Loch Ness. Marine biologists are quite stumped by this discovery, as this is the first time they've discovered these mysterious and fascinating holes. 
As they say, we've barely scratched the surface when it comes to discovering life forms deep in the ocean. Maybe this discovery would reveal the existence of a mysterious creature we've never imagined. Number 4. Skeletal Remains in the Colorado River Stretching 1,450 miles with a maximum depth of 85 feet is the Colorado River. It's known for its beautiful canyons and whitewater rapids, and it's dubbed the lifeline of the West. The Colorado River supplies more than 40 million people water in the United States, and it also supplies water to irrigate millions of acres of farmland in the country. With that being said, this river is incredibly important, so there are a lot of laws, litigation, and agreements about this river. Many people usually take a dip in the river, and some people go for a dive here knowing that it's generally a safe space. However, in 2015, a diver had the most horrifying discovery of his life when he stumbled upon not one, but two skeletons about 40 feet under the surface of the Colorado River. He immediately reported what he found to the La Paz County Sheriff's Office, and the authorities immediately set off to find what they believed were real human remains. But it turned out that there was no need to worry because upon closer inspection, the skeletal remains turned out to be nothing but cheap Halloween decorations. In the end, this was just a sick joke that someone pulled off. Both of the skeletons were decked in swimwear, and with them are props including a can of beer and even sunglasses. There's also a sign being held by one of the skeletons bearing the date August 16, 2014, which might be the day they were placed underwater. Usually, putrefaction and the scavengers underwater can dismember a corpse in a week or two, leaving behind bones that would inevitably sink to the seabed or the riverbed. I guess it makes sense that the diver mistook the fake skeletons for real because of his initial shock and horror. He was later on embarrassed by what happened, but hey, the lad had good intentions. In the end, the authorities claimed that while they did not like the false alarm caused by the installation, they thought that this was just a funny and harmless joke. The ones responsible for putting the skeletons underwater confessed to the authorities, but in the end, no charges were filed. The officials claim that the installation might bring some joy to other divers who would stumble upon them underwater. Yeah, I think it would give them a mini heart attack instead. However, the authorities reminded everyone that just because they let this one pass doesn't mean they would allow everyone else to put any other crazy installations in the river. Number 3. Blue Goo This is another creature to be added to the strangest creatures found in the ocean. A team of scientists in NOAA discovered this blue goo creature while exploring the Caribbean. Standing out because of its unique color, the blue goo looks like a toy covered with soft spikes. To this day, no one knows what exactly this creature is, but researchers think it could be some sort of coral, sponge, or tourniquet. Since this creature is newly discovered, we can't say for sure what it is, and scientists need to obtain a sample before we can determine for sure. The Caribbean Sea has one of the highest levels of biodiversity, and it's not surprising that we find a lot of new creatures in this part of the ocean. Do you have any theory about what this creature is? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Number 2. Underwater Champagne Did you know that there's champagne underwater? But it's not the drink that adults indulge in. Deep in the ocean, in the strip of seafloor that is the Cascadia subduction zone, is bubbling methane. We've seen methane escaping from the seafloor in some places on the planet, but this is one of the most active methane seeps in all of Earth. Because of all the bubbles rising from it, it looks like someone opened multiple bottles of champagne along the seafloor. What exactly is methane? It's an odorless, colorless gas produced during microbial digestion, which includes cow farts. The release of methane is a problem because this gas causes our planet to grow warmer, which means we'll continue to experience changes in our climate if this continues to happen. We still don't know why these methane seeps appear, but researchers are trying their best to learn more about them. Number 1. Mysterious Crater even though the dinosaurs went extinct more than 65 million years ago, many of us are still fascinated by them. To this day, we continue to try to learn more about them. And recently, we've made an astounding discovery that could tell us more about their extinction. This year, researchers found the Nadir Crater located near the volcano Nadir Seamount. Amazingly, the crater is about the same age as the supposed impact caused by a huge asteroid around 66 million years ago that wiped out the dinosaurs and other species on the planet. We still don't know for sure, but there is a chance that the Nadir Crater is the same impact zone left by the asteroid that caused the extinction of many species millions of years ago. Bodies of water are truly intriguing, and they have a lot of mysteries that we're just beginning to discover. Which of these underwater discoveries piqued your interest the most? Let me know what you think in the comments below. 
Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.